All right, guys. Hello, hello. Uh, welcome to Ocha Kellen Real Estate. As always, thank you to everybody who's been subscribing to the channel. People been liking the videos. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, to get right into this video, uh, keep your end goal in mind. So, part of this topic, I thought about. I can't honestly remember if I told you guys about this one tenant who I had, but if not, I actually, I'm going to do a whole different video about them. So. When I say keep your end goal in mind, so me as a landlord, like, you know, and as I say, like, you know, I'm a small time landlord. I only have three properties, and that's one of the reasons why I want to start doing these videos so you guys can watch me grow as I keep on getting more and more buildings and houses and things like that. So keep your end goal in mind. When you're dealing with tenants on an everyday basis, as I do, you know, and maybe like, you know, little arguments here and there, or maybe like it's like disagreements about something, you know, if you want to keep that tenant, you know, be friendly, keep the end goal in mind. So like, for instance, I had this one tenant, I wanted her gone. And I knew that, especially because of COVID, I wanted her gone, that I had to try to be as friendly as possible while still keeping my foot down and wanting to happen what I wanted to have occur, if that makes sense. So I wanted to get her gone. And I knew that because of COVID, she could have played a lot more games than what she did. And to her credit, I'll give her actually a lot of credit because she actually didn't play any games. Like, you know, she actually, you know, she was thankful for how I handled her situation. Like, you know, it was between, you know, her and a domestic violence issue she was having with her husband. There was a whole bunch of nonsense going on. And so I literally just had to keep my end goal in mind. I knew that I just wanted to get her out of the apartment with as least damage as possible to the unit. And so I just knew I kind of had to be friendly you know, say, hey, I understand things happen. Every time I talk to her over the phone, I try to keep a friendly tone in my voice. I acted like, you know, I wasn't mad, even if I was kind of pissed off about what was going on, because I just want to get her out of there. You know, right now, because of COVID, there's people who haven't paid rent in over a year. And luckily with that tenant, the same month that she ended up leaving was the month that she got kicked out of Section 8. So that was the month that payment stopped. And that was happened to be the month where her lease was ending anyway. So literally everything timed up properly, you know, so I really had to keep the end goal in mind for what I wanted. I couldn't get involved or get sidetracked when it came to, you know, if, if she said something slick to me, you know, if she was having a bad day, you know, if something got damaged in the property because of her, I really had to keep my end goal in mind and I had to really, you know, pretty much have tunnel vision. I know I'm sure some of you guys, you know, you talk about being focused on your goals and your dreams. You talk about having tunnel vision. Really, it's the same thing, having tunnel vision and keeping that end goal in mind because I just knew I had to get her out of that apartment some way, somehow. So remember, dealing with tenants, you know, you always want to have a, like, you know, a few disagreements here and there. But if you like that tenant and you want everything to remain friendly between you and the other person, you know, keep the end goal in mind. If you don't like that tenant and you know that you still want to get them out eventually, you still have to keep that end goal in mind and try to be as friendly as possible sometimes while they're still in your property because a lot of times it's just not worth the headache. You know, you want to try to get along with everybody who you interact with on a daily basis as much as possible. And so keeping the end goal in mind is one of the things I tell myself and the way to go about that. All right. So we'll have more videos coming up soon. But always remember that and really i tell people that's really in my opinion you know good advice for anything you do in life keep the end goal in mind you know don't win the battle and you end up losing the war you know i end up in a situation where i got that tenant out of my unit and she could have still been there to this day right now and not have paid rent in the past six seven months so end goal in mind and everything will be okay all right so as always thank you to everybody who's subscribing to the channel if you're watching this on youtube you can find me on instagram at ultra kellen and if you're watching this on instagram you can find me on youtube at ultra kellen real estate all right guys till next time